it's Maddie here and today it is Fun Friday for Reading Brain Game. And so for today's activity, we're gonna be coloring our own Harry Potter tile. So if you don't know the different houses of Harry Potter, they're listed here on the side. There are Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. And I have marked the colors over here so, so I wouldn't forget, but I just looked them up. Um, the two colors of their ties I put beside each house. So the Hufflepuff is yellow and black, Slytherin, green and silver, Ravenclaw, silver and like a dark blue, but I only have like this blue, but it's, it's fine. And then Gryffindor is red and yellow. So for my tie, I think I'm gonna pick Ravenclaw. So that is the blue and the silver. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started coloring and I'm gonna color it, like every other one blue and then every other one silver, like striped. And also I know I have a crazy uh, different types of, you know, I got markers, pens, color pencils. I don't have very good supplies here at my house, but you gotta work with what you got. But you can pick any house you want to be in. There's actually a quiz online if you want to take it just to see what house you would be in if you were in Harry Potter. And also, you can come over here and color each of the houses if you want. And you can cut those out and glue it on your tie, like your house. So I would cut the Ravenclaw out and put it on my tie. But I'm not going to do that today because coloring that would be very, very tedious. I don't want to be here all night with you guys, so. So I'm just going to color the tie and then cut it out. So that's what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to take my gray coloring pencil that I'm using as a silver. And try and quickly color these white stripes. That I haven't colored yet. So I've got Mr. Tyler here with me and I'm going to ask him what house would you be in if you were in Harry Potter? Um, well, everybody thinks that Gryffindor is a special one just because Harry was in it, but that doesn't necessarily make it the best. Um, I'd probably be different and get in Let's say Slytherin. Slytherin. Cool. If you know a house that you would want to be in, you guys should leave it in the comments and let us know. Or ask your parents or guardians to leave it in the comments and let us know what house that you would be in. I'm almost finished with the coloring. Or if you just want to make up your own house and color your tie, your two favorite colors or your one favorite color, that is also fun. But I chose to just go with the Ravenclaw here. So I'll let you guys get a look at that. And you can also look at these colors on the side. 
or you can look them up and find out what colors they are. So I'm done coloring it. Now I'm going to cut it out. And also I'm going to cut out this top gray line here. There's a dotted line, but you don't want to cut across that dotted line. You will eventually fold it. Like I said, if you have more time than me, uh, you can color your house or you can color all of them if you just feel like it and glue it onto your tie. So it will look even more like a Harry Potter tie. cut up that dark gray line and that is what it looks like when you cut it out and then to put your tie on all you have to do remember that dotted line I told you about all you have to do is fold down that dotted line just like that and put that little fold inside your shirt and there you have it, your own Harry Potter tie. So I hope you guys have a great time doing this little activity, and I hope you've had a great final week of camp. See you guys.